Oh snap. Oh. oh that's not bad. I'm going like very slow here, but. What? Holy cow. Oh, this is cool. Oh. <laughs> Hello, hello, my name is Greg. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, this channel centers around uh, some of my creative endeavors, which includes and is not limited to FPV drones, making beats, and skating, roller skating. I had an opportunity to review a new product from Basecamp Skateboards. It's an electric skateboard. It's got big, nice, giant wheels. It uh, glides great. Um, I entrusted my buddy Diego, who is an actual skateboarder, to come help me out and review the skateboard. So I'm going to take you over there, back into the past, where we hung out and tried this skateboard out. Thank you, Diego, for helping me out with this, and thank you, Basecamp Skateboards, for sending this along. Highly recommend. That is my condensed thing. Let's go to the past. All right, so we are out and about. Beautiful evening here in sunny Florida. I have my buddy Diego here. He's gonna help me uh, review this uh, Basecamp uh, electric skateboard. Diego has a little thing going on with uh, Rad Vision Studios. Uh, I'm gonna link all his stuff in the uh, description and all that stuff. Rad Vision? Rad Vision Studios. Radmobile. Radmobile. Rad Vision underscore studios on Instagram. Facebook at Rad Vision Studios. Check me out, do video photography, graphic design, all the fun stuff. Check it out. I, uh, I'm not a skateboarder. I am uh, a roller skater. I enjoy skateboarding, but I'm not uh, as well versed in it as Diego, so it's nice to get some feedback from someone who is very well experienced in the art of skateboarding. Uh, so here we have lovely backpack. That holds the board, which is pretty dope. Yeah, and it's got a nice little strap right here, Velcro. You know, you got a little pouch right here to put all your essentials in. In the front, you got these nice comfortable straps, adjustable as well. And I guess this is a, I guess you clip it, in case you want a portable. Let's see here. And now we have, let's take the board out, you unstrap this, unstrap that, Velcro that. All right here, oh, oh, look at that. Velcro right here. And you got your board. Look at that. I think it's that is beast. Look at the wheels on this thing. That is some serious build right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's sick. It's like a little thumb. Yeah. You know, just go like that power on. Mm -hmm. Against power on, you just uh, flip that thing. Let's see. All right. So I guess. Oh, oh, you saw that? That's mm -hmm. not on it. So let's see. I go on top. Oh snap. Oh, it's not bad. I'm going like very slow here, but what? Holy cow! Oh, this, this is cool. Oh snap! Oh yeah, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. Wow! And then going uphill. I don't want to go too too fast. That was sick. It's going, still going. Oh, oh, okay. That's, that's wild. It doesn't go too fast, guys. I remember trying another one from a different brand. That thing, like, you go up, that thing hauled. Oh, that might be a good idea, so if I do this. There you go, it's my multi-purpose. Try this out. Oh snap. And just like that, you have yourself a board bag. Yeah. That's, that's crazy lightweight, of course. Here we go. Oh, we go downhill. Uh, oh, there you go. Ooh, speed. Little break action. There you go. Not even. We're getting some exercise today. Oh, crap. <laughs> Good. Almost died. Don't try to do a manual. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you, <laughs> you wanted to attempt one. Oh, I can kind of do it. 
that for like 10 seconds. Hey, how are you? <laughs> it's great. It feels weird not having to push. I know. It's like my feet are feeling so heavy. easy. <laughs> it's too easy, guys. All you have to do is dial, dial. Roll a dial, that's it. <laughs> no one else. I think this thing was sick. I definitely dig it. I recommend getting 100%. Doesn't go super fast for easy use, remote. You know, and still, you got about three bars left. So that's feel pretty good. And you can mess with people. Just like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, get on the board. Come back, come back now. Just like that. That's about it, just like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's a wrap. We got some cool shots with the FPV drone. Diego, thank you, dude. You've it. Was sick, it. man. Awesome, awesome. Loved it. Fun times. Got it's I love this area. It's so beautiful. I know there's like a weird power plant over there. Okay. But if you turn around this way, 
It's uh, scenic Trail. stuff. It's and beautiful. we got nuclear uh, acid in the water, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's fine. It's scenic. Scenic, scenic nuclear acid water. Yeah. Just don't, don't dive in the water. Yeah, don't dive in the water. That's all, that's all I recommend. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Awesome. Thank you, Base Camp, for providing the skateboard to review. We had a blast testing it out. It was so much fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to peace out. Bye, 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 bye. All right, so that was the little montage and the little, uh, you know, behind the scenes of, of, of the filming of the review. Personally, uh, I had a lot of fun, and I've, I'm still having a lot of fun writing this thing. Uh, I'm not going to go over the specs because I'm not a specs kind of guy. I don't even look at the manual most of the time. And I kind of love the fact that all I have to do is plug in the board, let it charge, uh, turn it on, pair it with the remote, and it did all of that seamlessly. And then you're all good. You're good to go. Like there's no like anything to unlock or any kind of app to download or anything. It's just like boom, boom. Uh, I'm mobile, you know. So that's a big plus. Uh, another big plus of the skateboard that I really enjoyed is it's very beginner friendly. So if you have like a kid, like for me, my son is uh, almost 10 years old now. He's never really ridden on a skateboard proper prior to this. Like we've rolled around, we've had a little fun on like a regular skateboard, but like electric skateboard, you can change the setting on the skateboard to go from slow to fast. That's fantastic. It worked, I've done like a two mile trip on a trail back and forth the battery barely went down so that so far i've i've had great experience with this there's no, there's nothing that i can complain about but yeah personal experience fantastic my son loves it he in fact kind of has taken it over and has taken it from me and uses it more than i do what i love about this board too is it's like a perfect size it's not too big it's not too small like it's just like this like good size for it's not a long board, you know, but it's got nice big wheels. The wheels are 90 millimeter diameter and 50 millimeter width, which 51 millimeter width, which is perfect for just riding over anything. Like I drove over some big pebbles with this thing and just kept going. And that's, that's a big, big plus. I love a good smooth ride, you know? Like I have huge wheels on my roller skates as well, just cause I don't like bumps and stuff on the road and I want to have a nice smooth ride. So fantastic. I love the, the look of it. The, the packaging is also was nicely done. It's got all the instructions and, and to get you set up quickly. Uh, if you're like me and don't like to read instructions, there's instructions on the box. So that helps you, you know, get up and going real quick. Yeah, it just, it's, it's fun. It's, it's easy to get started and for people like me who don't own any other like electric skateboard devices like the one wheels and things like that this is a nice first step into you know trying it out it's heavy but again it's probably not as heavy as a gigantic longboard and what I love about this skateboard too is that it comes with a backpack and the backpack is stylish and it's easy to get the board on there. So if you're a commuter, you can put your keys in the, uh, you know, in the front pocket. And for somebody like Diego, who's an actual skateboarder who skateboards like every day, if you're trying to like go over to your local skate park, you don't want to drive and say it's like a mile and a half away. And, you, and you're, you've got your like park board with your small wheels and you're trying to roll over, you know, roads and pebbles and things like that. And you're just trying to get from one destination to the other. You can actually pack your regular skateboard in the backpack and have it geared up and ready to go. And you can commute to wherever you need to go where you're gonna session, you know? So it saves you some time and energy. When you're skate to a spot, you're exhausted by the time you get to that skate spot. This is a good way of getting to that skate spot in style and still having like your regular skateboard on your back. So. Good job, uh, Basecamp. Thanks for sending this along. This is my review. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back with more videos eventually. Bye-bye.